So okay, in this video, we will be taking a look at the tool called Evil Creepy. So go to Evil Creepy and you will get this GitHub repository. And you will be needing the Visual Studio for compiling this into executable. We do not provide binary release for Evil Creepy. Please compare executables yourself. So you need to install Visual Studio Community Edition, which is uh, free. So you can download this here. So here you can see community free download. After downloading that, you need to install the uh, install this uh, CPP uh, and the C sharp environment. And after that, you will get this developer PowerShell for VS 19. So open this one and download this one as a zip file and I, ha I have already downloaded this one so here this is my uh, folder so we can navigate to that folder and run this command so run this command to compile this into executable now you will have this evilcreepy.exe So this is the help page. So what we can do is uh, we can specify our VBA code that can be displayed onto the uh, VBA source code and minus G option to hide the code from the VBA editor GUI. So here this is the documentation and hide or unhide macros from GUI. So this will all hide all the macro modules except this document. So we put the code in the digit document. So it's not kind of helpful option for us for our situation. And here you can see the next option is stomp VBA. So this is what we are interested. And we can put fake VBA code from the text file, file name, and using the source and the document file. So let's go and do this one. So we have our rev.datum copy into our folder. So evilcreepy.exe and let's go. So I have already created a file name that is fake code.vba open with code. So we can uh, put some fake uh, VBA code. Let's say private sub sample and sub. So this generally does nothing. So close this. Uh, minus s fake code dot vba and rev dot dot m so run this one and here you can see now stomping vba code in the module this document now here you can see there is a new file rev underscore evil creepy so open this one and press alt f11 and here you can see could not open macro storage so we cannot see the uh, uh, macros but let's go and run this one Alright, let's go and enable macro. Okay, we did not get the shell. Let's delete this one. So we are putting the empty VBA code. Now let's go and run this. So we did not get uh, the shell. Sorry. Uh, previously, before this 
making of this video i have enabled the defender to check if it deletes the ev creepy file so it does not delete that one so we will be uh, seeing that one as well at the end of this video so now save this one now we should uh, open this again now if you run this we get the shell now exit now close this and now let's put the fake vba fake code vba in our macro document as usual you don't get any uh you don't get any code display so what we're going to do is uh, let's go and run this one enable the macro and we get the shell as usual so here you can see without uh, you opening the hex editor and deleting all the code this tool will uh, delete the macro source code for us so let's copy this onto our machine And here you can see uh, we got only one thing that is VBA stomping. So let's also run pcode dump and we get the uh, macro source code in the pcode. Uh, there is an another option called uh, minus r set random ASCII module names in the directory stream. So this will try to confuse the P code dump, but actually th this uh, does not work. So let's also do that one. So let's copy this again. And here you can see we got the same source code. Maybe this tool got updated. So anyway, uh, we have successfully uh, removed the VBA source code and got the macro execution which was in the P code. And there is a, also another option that is to set the locked attributes using the minus U. Let's also do that one. Now if you go and press Alt F11 and here you can see uh, you can see project is unviewable project has been locked so whenever you see like this one you can also uh, use minus uu option to revert the changes so it will uh, unlock the document making the project visible So one another thing I want to show is to uh, what we can do is we can put uh, application dot quit. So if you put this application dot quit, uh, whenever the analyst tries to see the source code, the application just quits. Let's try to run this one and if you run this So we got the shell after exiting our shell and here you can see the word document has been closed because of that application dot quit So let's also upload this file to the virus total I have uploaded just now before recording of this video and also what we're going to do is uh, this file defender treats this file as a safety it's not a virus so okay we got so many uh, let's I think
now it should get the risk detections i guess so you can see we got only fewer detections now what we're going to do is uh, we are going to enable this windows defender uh, you can also uh, host your uh, fake uh, macro code so we will be seeing that one in the next video by remote macro injection so here you can see we got only two detections okay let's go and refresh this let's also save this rev.dotm in here so even though the defender deletes this file we can still have in our linux box but the defender does not delete this one because it only scans for the vba source code let's go and turn this one on and refresh this okay it should delete a uh, quick scan i guess Uh, it should guess within uh, very fastly. So here you can see threads have been found. Click on that one, and here you can see yes, uh, meter peter one msf dot docm. So let's go and remove this one. 